Good evening, everyone. This is Brenda from Bella's Artisanal Apothecary. Um, <clears throat> it's taken me a little bit, but I was um, prepping all of my oils. This is a nine pound, pound batch, sorry. So I had to use a cute little bucket that I got at the grocery store. Um, so anyway, here I've got my clays. Sorry, my oils with my kale and clay. Um, this particular batch is olive oil, coconut oil, castor oil, and which is the other one, avocado oil. So those are the four oils that I have in this one. I'm gonna go ahead and blend up the clays. Just to get it well incorporated. I actually dumped it in there um, about an hour ago to get it incorporated. Okay, I had to take a quick break there for a second. Okay, so going back to mixing the kale and clay into my oils. I put, for this amount of oils, I put two heaping or average tablespoons full of kale and clay. I didn't want to overdo it. But um, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but it's a beautiful pearly golden yellow um, once you incorporate the kale and clay. Um, my lye solution, which I'm about to pour in here, does have some Tussa silk and some sodium lactate. And that's all I put in it, at least for this recipe. So the soap that I am making today is a soap that's basically a wintry meets Valentine's Day type of soap. So it will have some cute little heart embeds and um, it's going to be colored in a very pale pink that I um, got from Nurture Soap. Let me show it to you. Amaranth is the name. Pretty sure you can see it. But it is a beautiful pink. There you go. And then I had ordered some gray. Um, I think it's called 50 Shades of Gray, but it hasn't come in yet. So I made my own little mixture of black pearl with winter white, also from Nurture Soap. Um, I get from them most of my uh, my micas. Um, and then I am going to add, aside from the embeds, these cute little, my light's not cooperating, there we go, cute little sugar pearls along with the hard embeds. And the embeds are pretty pink. Let me go ahead and find one. super tiny so I'm pretty sure you can see them super tiny they're gonna go on top of the, the soap the pipe top portion and the scent is a combination of two fragrances that I got from wholesale supplies plus now um, I'm not gonna give you the two that I mix but <laughs> They are quite pleasant. So going back to my mixture, let me go ahead and get this mixed up real quick because I don't want it to go all wonky on me. And I know that one of the fragrances that I chose um, does have a slight discoloration, very slight. And I believe it does speed trace a little bit. So you may not see it, but I can actually feel it. Um, it's a light to medium trace right now. And I wanna keep it that way. 
so I'm a little bit worried about the fragrance. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to pour out the portion that I'm going to use for the swirl and the portion that I'm going to use for the top. And I'm not gonna add fragrance to it just yet because I don't want it to speed trace. And that's what I'm afraid of. So, here I have that, I don't know if you can see it. It's not, I mean, I used some distilled water to blend it. So let's see how this comes out. I may need to add some more mica. So we shall see. We shall see, fingers crossed. here. I got my cute little apron. You can't really see it, but I got them for Christmas. All right, let's see. Let's see what color we get. It's changing. I may need to add. And the way I prepare my oils and the amount of time I let them sit out and, you know, the time that I put the kale and clay in. Um, there's a little piece of, um, that's coconut oil, but it's not going to do anything wrong. Smush it. There we go. So it looks like I'm going to have to add some more. So let's, this is an experiment. Let's see what we get here. Anyway, what I was trying to say before is, and it does have a little bit of like a charcoal look to it. Um, it doesn't take me long to mix my oils, and it all depends on which oils I'm using as well. So, just wanted to point that out. Because sometimes I only stick blend for like maybe 10 seconds, and I've already achieved a light trace. So again, my mixture today is olive oil, coconut oil, avocado oil, and castor oil. Those are the only four. So this one is a palm free, but it does have the coconut. My other recipes, I would say 50% of my recipes have a, uh, have the palm, palm oil. Okay, so I don't know how well you can see. Um, I don't know if I'm liking this color. And I am gonna put the, the stick blender to it to break up any little clumps. But to be honest with you, it is not working out the way I would want it to. So I'm just gonna add some more white to it. I thought about adding titanium dioxide, but I was afraid to do so because of the fact that one of these fragrances speeds trace. I was afraid that um, adding the titanium dioxide would just make it all wonky. So I'm going to pause here for a moment and come back until I get this mixture the way I want it. Okay, now I'm back. I actually did manage to get, let me move this. Uh, hopefully that'll work. Okay, so I actually did manage to get it to a gray consistency. Hopefully you can see it. Um, it is thickening up, but I know that that's gonna go fast the minute I add the fragrance. So I've got my portion for the molds. And this is going to be for the piping. So now I am going to add my pink to the main batch of the soap. And as you can see, this is bigger than a teaspoon, um, smaller than a tablespoon, but it's heaping. So I'm going to do one heaping 
and a half of this beautiful amaranth pink by Nurture Soap. And I'm always very cautious with the amount of micas that I put into my um, oil mixtures because I try not to make soaps that will bleed. When you're using them. Oh my god, it's a beautiful pink. So I think that was the perfect amount to use. Let's turn this this way. Okay. One hundred percent incorporated. So now here's the part that scares me. So here's the fragrance oil. Never put your fragrances in plastic cups. Always use a glass container. So nine pounds. I've got about five, maybe a smidge more ounces. that amount in there and I'm just gonna stir it with this first because I don't want it to get so thick that when I pour it and I try to do that on um, little gray drop swirl in it I'm gonna look good. So to, I was gonna do a white in the middle, I'm still debating, but. One, two, I think that was maybe a three second pulse. And that's what I'm gonna do on that one. junk pot. All right, so yeah, the rest of this will be for the pipe top. Let me get my molds. try to be the very clean uh, soaper. I can't stand messes, but you know, it happens sometimes. So, and I did sanitize these molds before I started. They've been sitting out there drying after I spritz them. Okay. And now I'm gonna set this on top of here just so I can show you the texture, see? It's thickening up. Hopefully you will like this fragrance. I'm not gonna stick blend it because I don't want it to get any thicker. And this soap does not have a name yet because my daughter will be naming it, so 
She says she doesn't want anything, but until she sees the soap that has been cut. Oh, it smells good. It's a sweet, wintry, fruity fragrance um, that is going to be suitable for Valentine's Day because on Valentine's Day it's cold. So yeah. Okay. That fragrance is fully incorporated. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come down the middle. Considering so I'm gonna let this set up for a few seconds before I do a little swirl I'll be right back okay here we are again so I actually had to swirl it because it is setting up fast so let's see what I can get accomplished here so it is thick but is workable which is a great thing oops and this is where it starts to get messy. Perfect. Hey. All right. bucket in the way and this is perfect because I am going to texture the top regardless got a little bit of my music in the background So although it's not going to aggravate me to the point where I'm going to start throwing a tantrum, I still like to keep my work area nice and clean, as do my molds. I like to keep them nice and clean. So it's not an issue. Let's do this. Gonna need a little air pocket. 
pockets out and I do see the air pockets coming out. And it did go down, which is good. Let me clean it up. There we go. So the music that I'm listening to is in Spanish. And it's a group that's no longer in existence. They disbanded many years ago, <clears throat> which is a shame because they were awesome. I'm gonna move that one out of the way for a moment. I was actually pregnant for my son when they hit their heyday. They were all over the, <clears throat> the radio waves and the group is called Sun, like my son, S-O-N, by, B-Y, and then four. So Sun by four, instead of Sung, S-U-N-G, Sun by four sure how they came up with the name but they had one um, see how it thickened up let's see if this one's workable oh, it actually can be so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go along the, the lines of my interior design which is going down the middle sure I have enough for both which I'm pretty sure I do because I calculated my mixture quite well if I do say, my, say so myself there's plenty still left in here Trying to get these little edges. Oops. So anyway, going back to this group, they were awesome. I don't know what happened. Well, like many groups, you know, they hit their peak, and then I think one wants to go this way, one wants to go that way management gets involved or did something wrong so who knows okay that's good enough but I am of Puerto Rican descendants my parents were both bought uh, per Lord they were both born in Puerto Rico I was gonna say purchased yeah So I think that the only thing that I'm going to do is do the same thing that I did with the body. The inside is just going to do a little quick swirl and when I do my piping, I'll just have to be a little bit unique with it. There we go. Hopefully you guys won't mind the music in the background. I don't know how much you can hear. Okay, that'll do. Perfect. So now let's see how my, oh yeah, this is ready to, I don't know if you can see, let me bring it up here. Okay, hello, you see my eyes. <laughs> anyway, I got a phone call while recording, but anyway, my, um, my frosting is perfect. It is perfect. And I knew it was going to go fast, so let me move this down this way so I could show you 
the texture. This is definitely pipeable. So when you kind of like blob it on the side, if it still goes down a little bit, it's got a little while to go, but I did it kind of like an eggnog color. I didn't want to put the titanium dioxide again because I was afraid that if I did, it would just go too, too fast. I mean, that's because of the combination. So I was gonna use the round, but I'm gonna go with the flower tip. I'm using these wonderful uh, fabric pastry bags that are big um, and comfortable for when I'm making a batch this size. So this will yield me about 32 bars and maybe four end pieces. Um, that I will <clears throat> either use in sample kits or cut up for a smaller sample give outs. It's the only thing about getting this sucker on here. I'm not going to bore you with this. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. I've had to um, go on several breaks. We got all kinds of noises going on over here. The dogs, the cats, the music. So I started my piping. And I dusted the first layer with some um, fairy tale. What's this called? This one's from Mad Mica. This one's fairy tale. Fairy tale princess. It's a duster. I don't know if I have it set up the right way, but it seems to be coming out. This is so much fun to do because it's like making pastries. All right. I chose to do it this way because of that middle layer that I had with the gray. And I do believe that I had enough. Beautiful. What do you think, Mamiel? How's it look? So I'm not forgetting about the heart embeds. I have to find them. They're to my right. So let me get the little hearts. There you go. Hopefully you can see it. Beautiful. All right. Thank you for watching. <laughs>